do not bother about positive cases bother about our older generation our aged people thanks very much sir for taking your time out i understand you're a very busy person these days i want to quickly take you back to march when initial few cases were coming up in bhilwara the bhilwara model has now been hailed uh, by the entire country as one district that we must look up to and follow the route i want to first understand from you sir take you back to march perhaps when the initial first 27 cases were reported uh, you sprung into action what were the first few steps that you took you know uh, the first two or three cases were of the doctors of a reputed uh, hospital and uh, they must have seen nearly 10000 people during their uh, period of when they were infected so uh, we were not knowing exactly how many people have caught the infection and they are spreading it so it was a, a state of uncertainty and uh, community spread was written on the wall many people called it uh, at that time ki bilwala may become uh, italy of india and their presumption or assumption was not wrong actually because imagine nearly 7000 people they have seen in the hospital whose record was with us but 3 or 4000 people they must have examined at their homes and their record was not with them also as per who if we consider their guidelines one person can infect 406 people in a month's time but the first thing which when we came to know we asked uh, uh, the cm sir uh, shri ashok gehlot ji i told him ki sir this is the position we there are doctors and i want to uh you know seal the boundary of uh, my district and uh, seal the uh, city as well as i want to stop the railways i want to stop the roadways i want to stop the private vehicles so i want nobody should come inside bilwada and nobody should go out from bilwada bilwada should be isolated so he agreed and uh, first thing we did was isolation of the district so that other district may not be affected we told the neighboring uh, district magistrate or collectors to seal their boundaries also with bilwada so there is a double check so people should not come from that area here also so first thing the crucial step was uh, of our model of roadless uh, containment you can say was isolation of the district then mapping up of clusters uh, our epicenter was that hospital so the containment zone and the buffer zone that was 3 km radius area was totally a no movement area and people were told not to come out and if they came out then i told the police to take harsh action against them this was the life uh, the life was to be protected and the containment was to be done so uh, second was which i told that was cluster mapping and we saw that there are six major hot spots in the city where these uh, positive cases were there so teams were formed and uh, door to door screening was done basically door to door screening was done in the whole city and uh, nearly 300 teams with uh, three people each so 900 people working in the city taking uh, doing the screening and finding out ili pa- uh, symptomatic patients and getting them tested or putting them in quarantine centers and in rural areas mm-hmm. this uh, nearly 1900 and uh, uh, 35 teams were constituted of three people each that is nearly 6000 people were deployed we have 1910 villages and in this 1910 villages each team was sent and they were given a proper time schedule and uh, they were given the assignment every day that you have to uh, go uh, go to door to door to these many houses and uh, you have to bring this report and you, uh, wherever you find the people with ili symptoms 
they should be quarantined in their houses and a sticker would be placed of home quarantine and the nearby neighbors and the responsible people of the village would, uh, would take care of them they will be made they were made corona fighters and they, their work was their role was to see that these uh, people who were quarantined they do not move out and they were told that they are that these people are sleeper bombs because they are they can be you know they they have went, they have gone to the bangar hospital they were treated by those doctors they were in the opd or ipd so you have to take care if they come out and spread the disease the whole village will be affected so those corona fighters they did not allow these quarantine people to come out they used to give a picture to the, me every day in our group that these people are now uh, safe they are not having any infection or fever uh, the anm or the nursing staff has visit, visited them they are okay all the requirements daily requirements needed by them are fulfilled so everything was monitored so first thing was isolation of the district then mapping of hot spot and cluster areas then door to door screening was done aggressive contact tracing from one uh, uh, a person who is found positive then all the persons whom he was in contact with that is his family members that is a close contact group then the distant contact group everybody was you know uh, taken to the hospital the samples were taken they were isolated in quarantines and if the report came positive they were in the isolation ward and uh, all the hotels here were acquired by us and they were made you know quarantine centers so then ramping mm -hmm. of uh, you know quarantines not we we uh, nearly planned for 15000 beds in quarantines so 1541 mm -hmm was the beds of the hotels then all the you know uh, dharamshalas and all uh, the hostels and everything all the institutions were taken and uh, our capacity then grew to nearly 15000 then the our isolation ward in the hospital was just 20 bedded so we dedicated that district hospital converted into a fully dedicated covid Uh, 19 hospital with a capacity of 275 uh, uh, isolation icu beds uh, so that was and uh, four of the private hospitals uh, we also acquired so the people may not you know other than covid uh, diseases people can go and show uh, uh, show themselves or get examined themselves in those hospitals so this was the basic thing and this was all was done from 19th curfew was uh, 20th curfew was laid and the boundaries of the district was sealed the railways were stopped the roadways buses were stopped and in from 19th only the teams were there in the uh, city surveying the people in the rural area started from 22nd so till 27th we had are 27 lakh 28 lakh population door to door surveyed and in city the survey went thrice and the fourth survey is still going on okay so sir uh, ruthless containment model quick mobilization of resources and among other things uh, other initiatives that were taken by the machinery the state machinery you you said something very interesting sir you said we also had corona warriors uh, and you know rajasthan and bhilwara to be particular is is largely looked at as a very uh, rural area and least expected of all areas to have contained the spread of covid-19 so this sort of beat expectations of all the people in the country that uh, you know the will of the people also resulted in safeguarding the lives in uh, bilwara actually i would thank media also because media told again and again that bilwara is a epicenter of india now and it can be you know uh, equal uh, it can be termed as italy of india because it may become italy of india so people were you know they had some fear psychosis in their mind that something disastrous is going to happen and we told them yes it is a possibility 
we have to do or die we have to control and contain this covid 19 in bilwala itself otherwise we will be you know blacklisted or named as the bilwala acha okay that bilwala which from where the covid 19 spread in all india so people had this feeling and this feeling of responsiveness and while doing survey the teams were giving you know ic material to them uh, telling them preventive actions uh, for uh, telling them to put mask keep social distancing wash your hands regularly so people followed that because they didn't want bilwala to become a wuhan or italy they wanted bilwala to be no, uh, to be known by textile you know hub rather than uh, a, a hub that started covid or uh, it was a source of covid spread so people uh, were responsive and uh, they it is only because of citizen participation in our efforts administration efforts and state government efforts that uh, were the main reason of success here in containment till date mm -hmm. okay I, i want to know from you sir how many days did it actually took the model to turn around to start showing results actually you know what we were doing is we were we did not form a model we were trying what i told you it was a do or die attempt we were trying to save mm -hmm. other districts from covid spread and secondly we were trying to save our people from this if it is a community spread then first of all our bilwala people are affected or then if they go out mm -hmm. because there are many cases of asymptomatic positive cases where people don't know that they are positive there there are no there is no symptoms they don't know and they just they just keep on spreading the disease from one place to other so i isol we isolated the district so now from here the we had a target group now this target group is not moving out so they are not spreading it out anywhere else now we have to contain it to curb it here itself now we have to fight our own battle in our own ground and we have to educate mm -hmm. the people tell them to stay inside lockdown quarantine harsh methods of curfew maha curfew people called it we called it uh, maha curfew as everything was closed we used to give a home we are still giving we are still in maha curfew from uh, second mm -hmm. uh, so today is 26th uh, so we are still in uh, mm -hmm. this uh, maha curfew that is nobody in the city is coming out everything from morning milk to fresh vegetables fruits any grocery items everything medicines all are home supplied to them and we have made you know teams who are supplying them we have given vehicles to mm -hmm. those teams to supply that 45 vehicles are indulged in fruits and vegetable supply 50 vehicles in grocery supplies and those people who you know the uh, those people who are uh, in some eat bhattas or small industries those industries are closed so we are giving raw ration to them for 15 days and we have identified these people mm -hmm. there are such 4000 families which we are rotating in the city which we are giving you know raw raw food packets and rotating it after 15 days and then every day providing uh, cooked food uh, with the help of ngos and others to to the people of who are so poor and destitute such as you know uh, uh, you know paper pickers and uh, beggars and all so they don't they don't have even house uh, houses or pakka ghar in which and they don't have kitchen so we are providing cooked meal to them uh, morning and evening so this is uh, mm -hmm. and it cannot this whole thing whole effort and not only uh, our administration or revenue department you can say all other departments rural development panchayati raj education uh, then uh, social justice labor department all the departments are involved and the coordination between them is such that we are performing like a unit and we are fighting that this containment doesn't this should be contained this should not go out from bilwada we should not spread it and we should uh, you know break the chain here itself okay uh, so I, i want to know from you what is the present status like how many 
present positive COVID-19 cases does Bhilwara have? And when are you uh, looking to perhaps eliminate all of them? Because I, I understand a lot of people that I've spoken to said uh, that it is a possibility that after the lockdown ends, this may just come back. Are you looking at the same possibility? And if at all, will you be requesting for an extension in lockdown? The first thing, first question is that we have no positive patient today. Mm -hmm. All 26 patients we have, you know, they have turned negative and they are at now virus free and we have discharged them. There are four patients who have who are positive and they have turned negative. Their second test is also negative. The third test is going to be after four or five days. We will send them home too. So we are not having a single positive case today, but four patients are there. They are not in the isolation ward because now they have turned negative. So they are in transitory ward. So they will be going home after their third test. Then secondly, uh, apprehension about uh, after lockdown, it may again come up. What I tell you is uh, regarding coronavirus, we are very spectacular of we are looking towards the numbers. How many cases? are positive. Actually, this is not the thing. Whenever we do more tests, the people will come, asymptomatic positive people will also come uh, as uh, in our you know way and they will be a positive. These, these people have their immunity and with their immunity they will cure themselves. So there is no need to bother about asymptomatic young people. Now we have to bother about mm -hmm. our a aging population, the people who are above 65. Now we are going to test, mainly concentrate on the testing of the population which is above 65. So early detection, if they are there, if they are positive, early de detection may save their lives and the mortality rate uh, goes low. If a young person having is asymptomatic or he, if he becomes positive, he will be cured in 7 days, 10 days, 15 days or a month's time because of his immunity and strength. So our main focus is like that. It is not on number of cases, but it was a time when if it, it, was, it was a community spread that time and many of our, uh, you know, a, aged population or older people were infected. So we did not have medical facilities to match them. So in that case, mortality would have become a major issue in Bilwada. So what we did was lockdown and ruthless containment that to take the time to stop the uh, infection spreading and increasing our medical you know, facilities. Now at that time we had 20 bed, beds in isolation ward. That is 20 ICU beds. Now today we have 275. So in a meantime of uh, you know uh, one month, one one and a half month, we increase that. Now we have a lab here. We requested CM sir that we the we don't have a PCR lab here. So he was kind enough. He sanctioned that. And now today we have a lab, uh, a machine of uh, 48 sample doing, and plus three more machines are there which will be installed in seven days. We will be having a capacity of 1,000 tests per day after 15 days. So 1,000 which can be extended up to 15,000. So now what we have done is we have contained the things, uh, you know, uh, contained the spread and we have increased our medical facilities. So now we will be testing on the older generation and if they are infected, we will get the results soon and we have facilities to treat them so that mortality rate goes down. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my last question before I let you go, I know you're a busy person. Uh, you know, any advice that you'd like to give to neighboring districts in Rajasthan to be particular uh, that are still reporting positive cases and to the nationwide because Bilwara has now become a role model for the entire country. Uh, any one piece of advice, I, I know it, it cannot be summarized in one piece of advice, but any piece of advice that you'd like to give? Do, do not, one piece of advice is do not bother about positive cases, bother about our older generation, our aged people, because 
positive cases will come when you test suppose you test everyone in india you will get large number of positive cases that does not mean that uh, uh, it is it is part 50 60% of the population in a month's time two months time three months time will be infected but with you know will will be a very little infection which can be cured himself a person can with his immunity can cure himself but we have to care about our population which is aged test them make them sure that they are safe otherwise this thing is going to continue we have to continue in our lifestyle with a mask a world of mask for another one year or two year till the vaccine is not uh, easily available and uh, we have to keep the social distance these two are the theories and we we have to live with it so we have to do our work we have to come out and work with mask and social distancing don't bother about positive cases bother about the older generation thank you very much mr bhat thank you for your time sir thank you